let, let me conduct this interview, sir, sir. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. And uh, shout out to King Dominicano for telling me this clown out here spewing lies and, and false rhetoric like all these motherfuckers appear to be doing at E3 here. Uh, uh, just spewing dog shit out of their mouths. So this guy today comes through and basically says that we're getting some Cosmic Cube action next week. And man, look, I, I I can let you listen to it better than I, and you can let. I don't want the lies to come out of my mouth. I'm I just want y'all to listen to this dude spew this shit from his lips when he's telling you, hey, this is what we want to do. This is what we're striving to do. This is what we should chosen to go when we talk about when we speak or when we think about Black Panther. The guy doesn't sound like he know anything about a Black Panther comic book. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I'm going to just go ahead and play the video and, and let, the, let the dude speak. And, and you can hear it, the lies rolling from his lips. Because um, I'm sorry. Unlike all the rest of your damn shields out there that's telling y'all that the Marvel, telling people that the Marvel's Avengers game is all that. And, you know, this is something you need to be picking up right now. And... and how yeah, this this guy goes on and talking about how they want to spew out content and that's what they dedicated to. Stop. So I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna listen to these dude, this dude spew this shit for a second time. And I'll pause it where I see fit if you don't catch it. Because I listen to motherfuckers talk. And when you sitting up here telling me that you've been doing something that you clearly hadn't been doing, come on now, bro. I hate a fucking liar. And these guys are fucking liars. So without further ado, let me get you get it. I'll be right back. New enemy faction, a new social space overlooking the mound and the You hear what he said? In this expansion, we're gonna be introducing multiple new villains. Correct me if I'm wrong, but was not E3, the place to show us these villains, was not E3 the places the the place to show us these new locations and enemy types. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit, I didn't see any new enemy types. If I'm mistaken, I'm sitting here looking at the same goddamn trailer. I see aimbots. I see a few new robots sprinkled in there. I see claw, but I don't see anything else. I mean, where are the enemy? <laughs> the city of Wakanda. <laughs> and, a, and an entirely new Wakandan jungle to explore. So th there's a lot. There's a lot there uh, in this expansion. Get another jungle biome. Amazing. I mean, let, let's talk about it. Ain't a jungle. So it's not a forest this time, guys. A it's a jungle. We've seen in the game. There seems to be quite a lot of variety there. Is it one large, sprawling map you can move between the jungle and the city, or is there separate sort of maps you drop into within Wakanda? That was a bold question from this man. Will there be? Is it one unanimous map? You know what I'm saying? That you drop into or will there be basically like it is how you drop into the city or or you don't start. You know, you can't run to the city and that's that you drop into it. You know what I'm saying? That's what he asked. And, and, and yeah, listen to what he's listen to the response. Listen to the response. It's similar to the existing framework that we have uh, in the rest of the Avengers initiative and that you'll be selecting missions from your war table and taking on uh, requisitions uh, for unique rewards. Cool, amazing. And sort of the look of Wakanda, have you been heavily Short influenced by certain comic book runs or the Black Panther movie itself? Oh, absolutely. Uh, with the comic books in particular, we... Uh, now listen to these niggas, listen to this motherfucker's words closely. Listen to him ramble and try to find what he can remember instead of knowing where he got his content inspiration from. You can hear a motherfucker. I don't know if you know how to dictate how you can, if you can know how to listen to a liar, but shit, it ain't hard. Just listen. Uh, you know, we... You know, we've looked at all of the Black Panther runs and we've 
Uh, no, most notably looked at the Rise of the Black Panther comic book. Um, and so... Uh, wow, I feel like somebody slid that in there. It was like... That's, that's the comic book we look at, man. That's the boy we drove inspiration from. You know what I'm saying? Why why it seem like that? Uh, but, granted, we're, we're super excited to be... You call it what you want. You say, oh man, you're just looking for something to pick at, and blah, blah, blah. But that's not the case. What I'm looking for is this motherfucker to stop telling me shit that's in the game that ain't been in the game. I'm looking for this motherfucker to tell me what, 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 what what's, what's the big deal? Nigga, why should I still be playing fucking Marvel's Avengers right now? Considering that you're going to have to wait two months for an update to play this expansion. And then on top of that shit, I, I guess I, I guess that answers my question as to what we're going to be doing for the next two, for two months in. Because the Cosmic Cube event is going to be popping up. You know what I'm saying? I, I can only hope that patrol modes will pop up as soon and out as soon as uh, right after it. But, bro, th th let's be realistic now, man. Look who we dealing with. I'm not gonna say that. I'm not. I, I'm not gonna sit up here and say that I, I don't want to give you guys the benefit of the doubt. But, shit, y'all ain't left me any choice but to want more from y'all that y'all can't give. But you know, let me shut up and roll up my joint and uh, keep on. Let you listen to this man. It's clown. Be offering a, a unique take uh, on our Black Panther storyline, uh, but yeah, the comics were an absolute foundation for many of our inspirations and decisions. Mm -hmm. And in terms of that storyline, is this very much a Black Panther story, or is it building more with this overall story we've been getting in Marvel's Avengers with, like you know, we had the uh, with the Hawkeye storyline, for example, or is it very much a Black Panther story? I, th I think you could definitely look forward to a really exciting uh, uh, story mission chain that really explores Black Panther and his character and, and the narrative beats do definitely push him forward. But at the same time, we do want to make sure that the, the storyline, the main arc, arc of our, our story is continuing as well. Okay, cool. Oh. And I probably know the answer to this as well. I was trying to... I, I'm sorry. Is, is this a part of the storyline that's or the overarching storyline or is this just something that that's on its own what, what's the deal you know what i'm saying if it's going to be a part of the storyline then by all means shit should the like i feel like the, i don't know i i'll some i don't know if it's either it's a part of the storyline or it's not you know what i'm saying and i don't feel like he answered that question i don't feel like that this is a part of so i think it's just dlc i think it's just you know more shit for us to do that we'll be done with in no time you know trying to listen closely but is there any are we getting a clue of who's playing black panther in the expansion we've already got an all-star cast for avengers i was just wondering if that is now we already knew christopher judge the guy that played kratos from the god of war was going to be the uh voice of black panther but why he didn't just say this why he didn't just say that as information do people willing to tell me at all today I would love to talk about that, but our PR guys would definitely kill me. If <laughs> PR I had there. already uh, told but, us who we, you know, we already said, know who playing you know, Black Panther. We always work with an All Star cast, and and that 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 is definitely something. I don't know that we, why y'all always working with an All Star cast. This is an All Star game. Obviously, you know, it's not been the ideal start to Marvel's Avengers lifetime. I think I personally yeah, played the game a lot, and like player retention is something that maybe the game has struggled with. How player retention. Is something that maybe the game has struggled with. Maybe, maybe it's not struggling with player retention. It, 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 I didn't just do a video a couple days ago about there being zero people on Steam playing this game. No, nah, they ain't struggling with player retention. Come on. Do you feel? the War for Wakanda expansion and what's coming up in the next couple of months for Avengers is going to bring these players back and indeed bring new players into Marvel's Avengers. I mean, that's what he'd like to think. Right, yeah, the launch was certainly not without its challenges, but truly there's never been a better time to jump into the Marvel's Avengers right now. Uh, not only is it in the best shape it's ever been, but we've got eight. He even got the shield line, bro. Not only is it in the best shape it's ever been, bro. The game still got bugs that's in it from launch, bro. We only got two characters since launch, dude. Your last event, the Red Room event, didn't fucking work, bro. Great shape. 
This nigga's false rhetoric and lies is falling off on this innocent fucking chubby guy from fucking England. Man, come on, dude. That's just another shit in their pocket as far as I'm concerned. But I can't post up the, I can't post up uh, videos to their Reddit page telling them how I feel, what I feel about them and all that shit because I'm not a trusted member, but y'all can still let me hover around y'all page and see y'all shit. That was a bad move because I can still talk shit about you. I don't need to come and post the pictures over there. That's kind of, you know, whatever. And this right here is a clear indicator that all anybody that's sitting here believing you motherfuckers talking about this game is in great shape. Get the hell on, bro. The game far and far from being in great shape. So, yeah. Heroes to offer that you can play through tons of single player and multiplayer content. Uh, we've you got hear that shit? System. Nigga, you shouldn't even be playing through any single player uh, content. The only single player content you should be playing is fucking campaign. And once you pass that, it's nothing but multiplayer. Why are you need focusing on single player content? in a multiplayer live service element come on man these ongoing events that we're talking about such as uh the cosmic cube event which is launching next week and giving you this get into control. Go. so on top of the things that we're really excited about talking to you now uh you know uh you know this these are all part of the road forward and and we're looking forward to continuing to expand on part the of the road forward my question my next question would have had to be nigga, is this shit gonna be limited time kind of systemic sort of changes we can expect with systemic changes sort of any overhaul of the gear system or leveling are we is that going to change or are we still kind of pushing ahead with how the game is as it is our mantra is certainly to, to continue marching forward with uh, all of the incremental improvements as we can to to to, to sharpen all the edges as we have across the product um and and look our focus moving forward is, is absolutely clear if there's one thing that we wanted to say today it's it's this is that crystal dynamics is absolutely dedicated to delivering the marvel's avengers game our fans want just when did this dedication arise recently when y'all realized i had no players on y'all game or 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 at the beginning before y'all launched it back in september 2020 you know what I'm saying? Like, when did y'all become dedicated? Because if y'all were so dedicated, then we would have had the fans that we we would have had the game that the fans wanted. Instead, y'all aren't listening to the real fans. You're listening to these paid shields who sitting up in here coming in their pants when they see a trash ass trailer that they should have seen a week of before E3. You gave us a glorified motherfucking roadmap trailer. After we already knew what the roadmap looked like and what was to come, summer and beyond. And we aim to do that with compelling new content. Uh, we're talking iconic supervillains, iconic locations from the comics, and an ever-expanding cast of heroes, and really partnering. Man, that was a bold fucking statement, what he just said. Iconic supervillains, iconic places from the comics. He's starting to sound like, he's starting to sound like Kyle. He's starting to sound like everybody. That, that, that's, the, that's the wish list of Kyle that this boy said that they trying to bring to the game. But yeah, but 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 that's just the way things are going. You know what I'm saying? That's just the way things are going. You know what I'm saying? With with the way that they're distributing. Come on. That with a very meaningful rewards and progression uh, that our players want and deserve. I can't let you go today without asking about Spider-Man. Yeah, go ahead and ask him like about Spider-Man. Spider something that ain't never come. A favorite Marvel character. He has been said previously. He's coming to PlayStation. He's in the works. Coming sometime after Black Panther. See, I think they should have had somebody else asking this man questions. He seems to be intimidated. Yeah, I don't think they should have had this dude to sit here and ask questions to this man because he seems one scared. To ask the questions that were the hard hitting questions, you know what I'm saying? He should, uh, I, I can't, I gotta ask this. I feel pressured to. Like I, I, just before you go, I just need to know one thing. Stop. We're not expecting him to drop anytime soon, but any updates? Well, no surprise there. Man is all. We don't have any updates today uh, on behalf of the Spider Man side of the project, but uh, he's definitely part of the plan moving forward. 
definitely part of the cool. plan moving Man, forward. We ain't got nothing to say about the, uh, the cool character. We have nothing to say about the character that everybody on PlayStation pre-ordered the damn game for. Period. Still, 10 months later. But just know that we working on it. Y'all are mark my fucking words. If you ain't getting fucking Black Panther till August 2020, then you ain't getting Spider-Man till December 2020. In this Wakanda expansion, along with other villains, were there any sort of teasers, like any sort of Easter eggs maybe in that cinematic trailer we've just seen that would kind of... You hear this, man? begging for something from y'all other than what y'all are trying to give us he's begging was there anything that we need to deep dive and look for in that game in that trailer that would have let us know what's to come besides what you trying to deliver to us now and these bullshit lies i may be mistaken dude might be on to him you know but you this interview was all for naught and that's why it happened like this he couldn't do this live stream because he wouldn't have been able to focus on all the shit the realness coming out of the chat for motherfuckers like me giving all the l's from every other damn fan that would have been looking at this shit listening to this motherfucker spew this trash kind of hints for fans out there they may see something that they recognize we may see something we recognize our and, and, and our and our community to take a look at it uh and again as we get closer to the launch of wakanda i'm sure there'll be more exciting things to discuss mm -hmm. and the cosmic cube event how much how would you i'm just trying to get a grasp on how much content that mission is in Bruh, just ask him is this going to be a quick playthrough and that's it and then we're going to have to go through the bullshit and emotions we're trying to level up black panther and that's it or, 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 or is this going to be something that we can jump into and play? Man, I... Particular, are we, is this like the biggest mission yet for a four-player team? Is this going to be like an hour long, roughly? Or is there any sort of sense of that time? Well, yes, it launches next week. And essentially, it's a, a completely new villain sector. I think he misunderstood what the dude was asking. How long is the damn DLC? Now watch, we got to get a whole goddamn explanation as to why, uh, it, it, how long the DLC is. Which you, you may be familiar with the game, um, in which you face off against Monica Rappuccini, Scientist Supreme. We know what the hell's going the on. Cosmic Cube, which is sort of this ultimate weapon that she used to, she's just seeking to use uh, to overthrow our heroes and bend reality itself to her will. Um, on top of that, on Thursday, we're going to be uh, unleashing the Cosmic Threat event in which players can engage in missions uh, and challenges for unique rewards. And I s suppose I should probably ask when are we actually going to be able to play this Black Panther War for Wakanda expansion because, yeah, I want to. <laughs> <laughs> That's Dude was fishing for an exact date in August. He's fishing for an exact date in August. When will we get to play this in August? Listen to this motherfucker's response. Absolutely, yeah. We're really excited to be announcing that uh, Black Panther War for Wakanda expansion will be launching in August of 2021. And it completely Amazing. free to the player. I could have just went and read the tweet. Brilliant. Thank you so much, Josh. It... Did you see dude's face? Come on, man. The dude was like, looking forward to you know what? I, 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 I can do you. Here, let me... Let me, let me step on over here and conduct this interview real quick. Let, let me conduct this interview. Sir, 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 here's the deal, guys. Listen, listen here, chubby guy, buddy, from whatever, who's afraid to talk. Look, I work here at Crystal Dynamics, and I'm going to let you know right now, we have shit all coming for you, all right? This Black Panther shit should have been here a long time ago. These guys don't know what the fuck they're doing in here. And, and, and as far as I know, pff, the content just might not be it, it worth all, worth fuck all. Y'all can be false happy about this shit all you want to. The kid, the, the, listen to the man's words. He ain't, they don't have nothing. This is what, this was their big shot. They took it. It was a fail. Yeah, we getting Cosmic Cube next week. Will it even work? History says no. Red Room. Will we even get to play the shit together? 
He said, they said we will. Let's just hope we can find a fucking lobby. When being as zero people are playing the damn game. But that's not that's not that's not what we're doing here today. That's not what we're trying to have. I'm throwing this interview with my guy here, uh, this fine gentleman. We, we we just want to let you guys know that there's no chance in hell you're gonna see Spider Man anytime soon. Black Panther is gonna be the next hair hero you get, and you're gonna have to deal with him for the next four months. And uh, there's one more thing I was forgetting. Uh, fuck you guys. We don't care. Fuck you guys. We don't care. That's the end of this interview. Guy, I'm out of here. Fuck you. No more questions. That's it. I'm done. Take your ass on. Get out of my... Just go. No, no. We're not... Gonna... Scott, Scott, go. Get on. We're not telling them anything, Scott. We don't have anything to tell them. We're going to stop bullshitting these people. We're going to stop it. We've got to stop it. We don't know what we're doing. And they need to know. God, Scott, 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 Scott.